Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Steven uh, with Current Vista Productions and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and my new studio. So I hope you guys uh, stick around for this video because I'm going to give you my very first tutorial that I have. So, and this is also to, to test out, I have some new equipment. I have my microphone right here. I've got a DSLR recording some audio and pretty soon I'm going to get a uh, attachment for my GoPro so that I can connect it on top so you can see my hands and and what I'm playing. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I don't like to make long videos. I wanna keep them short, simple, and sweet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a template that I use to write orchestral music with. So um, let's check it out. And I am specifically using, I'm using a couple of different libraries, but specifically a lot of the sounds use Spitfire's Albion 1. So we're gonna use that today, but a lot of these concepts you're gonna see apply to other libraries as well. So stick around, check it out. All right, so uh, my, my DAW is Logic Pro. I've used it for years. So this is what I'm comfortable with, but I'm pretty sure you can do a lot of these same things on another program as well. I have my orchestral template set up to where it's, it's in score order, woodwinds, brass, non-pitch percussion, pitch percussion, and strings. The percussion section consists of the most tracks, so I like to ease my mind, especially when you try to compose music quickly, I gotta do everything I can to make it streamlined, uh, between pitch percussion and non-pitch percussion. So that way if I'm thinking, oh, I need a tom sound, well, that's obviously not non-pitched, or oh, I need a piano sound, well, that's pitch percussion. Whenever you, and also too, all these tracks are stacked on top of each other. So the first 14 tracks, well, those are gonna be woodwind sounds. And if I want to go to the brass, all the brass are laid out. Now within each section, um, if I want a special effect, such as let's say I want a, a, a low woodwind effect, I know it's going to be in a, I'm pointing to it like you guys can see, it's on your screen. <laughs> the darker color right here, the lighter color is just like your regular sound. So let's say I wanted to do a high woodwind sound. You know, I can do that. But let's say I wanted a low woodwind sound and combine that with a low brass sound uh, effect, like a special effect. So it becomes real easy to start creating some different sounds because you have them at your fingertips. So they're color coordinated, they're stacked on top of each other, and they're in score order so that when you're writing music, for me, the whenever I'm writing music, um, unless the orchestration is really thick, then I start to actually write it on paper. I sort of try to vis visualize it score-wise what's going on, you know, the sounds stacked in my head. That just helps me compose faster. And then to have the actual template like that is really helpful. So if you have a different library that you're working with, it would probably be best, you know, if you did your kind of, you can probably do this in any other DAW as well. So I hope this helps you out a little bit in terms of giving you ideas on how you can set up your own orchestral templates. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do a 10 minute composing challenge. So I'm gonna set a timer and I have 10 minutes to compose whatever I'm going to compose, good, bad, and the ugly. We're gonna check it out and I'm going to actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm just gonna cut right to it. So you're just gonna to have to trust that I'm being honest about the 10 minutes. And of course I have no reason to lie. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see you in 10 minutes and we'll see what I can come up with using this template. Maybe we'll analyze it. I don't know if it's bad, we won't. All right, <laughs> see you in 10 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. And five hours. All right, so 10 minutes is up and that is not a lot of time. This is one of the first time I've tried to write something in 10 minutes and man, that was stressful. Uh, I had to stop right in the middle because my sustain pedal broke and I just happened to have another one. So it was truly 10 minutes, so I promise you that. So let's check it out. There is a resemblance of a theme. There is something here. It's, it can be a fleshed out idea, but again, it's not perfect. So let's check it out. Now there 
there's more to it, but I, I wanted the strings to keep going. But I don't know. I, uh, I ran out of time. <laughs> so even then, that would be kind of a nice thing. A little bit too strong on the timpani drum, but anyways, uh, that's only in 10 minutes and you can fully flesh out an idea like that to be whatever you want it to be. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is the power of a template to help you streamline your uh, your workflow. You know, so that it, the, the point is to get your ideas down as fast as possible. You know, or if you have time, you know, you don't want to do it super fast, but uh, just to help get down as many ideas as you possibly can. So anyways, uh, I'm Steven with Current Vista Productions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like, uh, go ahead and lick the subscribe and like button. Please don't do that. Your phone screen's probably super dirty. <laughs> so don't do that. But anyways, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It does help me grow my channel. I really am trying to uh, just generate more content on here. So anyways, catch you guys later. Thank you so much.